What are you doing here? Grainy mukbang. Although, well, leftover pasta. Leftover pasta. We're not going to reheat it. Cold pasta's alright when you're super hungry. Camera angles. On a serious note, though, can you, like... Actually, this case... By the way, I'm filming this with the 4S. Because I ain't got any money to buy a decent phone. GoPro's gone off. That was quite a lot to sort that out. I'll talk about that in another video, actually. But we got there. We got there. And this case, that's actually in my old 4S. The microphone does actually pick up audio pretty good. All right? It's quite a garlicky sauce, this is, actually. Yeah, I was going to say. Can you imagine, really? People who get up every day and hate themselves. Oh, I go through those periods. I've made videos about, you know, the struggle is real, you know. But to all them girls out there, all them boys, you know, people that look in the mirror and they're like, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about it. It's camera angles, man. Look. Pretty much most people, if they do that, you're going to have a double chin. It doesn't mean you've got a double chin, you know. It's like when you sit down. Naturally, you know, you're going to have a bit of a paunch there. Unless you're like 0% body fat or something. <laughs> what a load of shite, eh? So I made some video as I was out on the bike today. Um, I didn't really surprise myself. I left home at like late. It was like late. Like 11 a.m. or something. I mean, Strava takes ages to get up on my iPod. I really don't know what's going on with that. Well, I say ages, not too long, but not as fast as I'd like, you know. But we were out for five hours. That included cycling there and cycling at home. Um, I think I did eight or nine climbs or something. Like I said, when I was out, just climbs. And I like to call stuff repeats, really. It's like, even if you're doing an Everest or a half Everest, repeat. It sounds so repetitive, you know. Just treat it as cycling, you know. And as long as you've got that positive attitude, that can go a long way. But the repetitiveness of cycling the same, as he spits some pasta out, the same route is, is a mental thing, you know. Something you got to get past. Like you start looking at stuff like what's ever, whatever's around you, what scenery's around you, what marks are on the road, formations of like hedges and grass and trees and all sorts of stuff, all sorts of weird things. Like cycling makes you think weird things anyway when you're out and about. Like you might ride up or ride, ride up a road that you've ridden up like hundreds of times before and you think, oh, there's that tree again. Hello, Mr. Tree. You've been growing for a long time. But, yeah, you know, It's a mental thing. It's all a mental game. Yeah, granted, you've got to have the fitness to a degree. But, saying that, you look at the amount of people, right, who have... Like, um, Anne Musto. Is it Anne Musto? The teacher, right? Everyone must have known her. Like, she's up there with, like, like Alist Alistair Humphreys. Did he write some books or something? I'm sure I've got some of his books, but, you know. Like, she retired or something and then bought a bike. Never really ridden before. Yeah, and picked up the fitness as she sort of cycled around the world, you know? Like, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Like, I'm, what I'm saying is nothing, like, you can't do. Like, if you put, like, a positive positive attitude to it but like how much of that have people got these days you know how much of that have people got but like, I go out really like, I've done 120 kilometers a day today or something I'm tired now because most of it was climbing you know I mean that's nothing to what I could be capable of as I said like people think I'm trolling when I say I don't train and stuff because I don't I don't do nothing specific man I don't think I'm something I'm not. I'm not the best cyclist out there. Just because I've got a YouTube channel and it's a cycling channel. Or not necessarily cycling specific. I like to 
talk about and upload other stuff. But yeah, most of the time I'm out on my bike. Most of the time I'm chatting about bike stuff. So if you want to call it a cycling channel, carry on. It's more of a life channel to give people a chance and a choice to perhaps change their life around, you know, to help people that can help themselves and then can carry on and help others. Call it that kind of channel, right? <clears throat> so, God, I'm lost now. We got tongue tied. But yeah, as I said, I don't think I don't think I'm nothing. I'm not. Like anyone could. There's always going to be someone quicker than you, man, or slower, or whatever. I couldn't give a shit about that. But not necessarily all the time. You might have better legs than someone else on a certain day, you know. <clears throat> if that's what you want to go by. But look in the mirror, you know. That's your competition, all right. Today was the competition from between me and me and my bike, I guess. It's funny, isn't it? Like you know, the bike. You can ride that bike as much as you want. You never wear it out, but it'll wear you out, you know. I've been cycling a long time, man. A really long time. I remember when, like, back in the early nineties, I used to cycle my mountain bike around with homemade lights, <clears throat> modified an old mag light. And used a cordless drill battery to power it. Probably kept me going for about three hours or something. <clears throat> but cycling dips up and down with me. I like I lose interest so easily. I lose that like passion or something. But lately I've really got it back. Probably because I'm getting a bit bit of my fitness back again. To where I used to be three or four years ago. But again, nothing to where I could be. But it's because I've been getting out on the bike and just enjoying it and the rest kind of just comes with that. You don't enjoy something. What's what what are you doing it for? What's the point in doing it? Right? And that applies to everything, doesn't it? It can go a long way. You enjoy something and it's fun and it makes you feel good. And after you've done that, you think, wow, man. I feel like so good. Like moving the body and exercising anyway, like it's, it makes you do it does make you feel good, you know? It's an addiction. I'm addicted to it, you know? I go out, I cycle, I tire myself out, I come home, I eat some food, I recover. You know, you've got to sleep and rest and chill out. It's no good to like wear yourself out and do other things, you know? It's like you've got to realise what you've done and you need to like recover from that. <clears throat> You can so easily burn yourself out, like not just from, not just from the activity that you're doing, but to carry on with other life. You know things you do in life, all right. That's why you got to eat food to fuel yourself to do that. If you're not eating like good food and you're not keeping yourself nutritionally, um, you know, nutritionally active, like with carbs or something, then you're just gonna blow up, aren't you? I've been on the pasta lately because it's like heavy, heavy carbs, you know, it's like, it's a good carb hit. Better than rice and, and potatoes, I mean, I find if you're doing activity, like if you're going to go out and cycle 100, 200, 300 kilometres, get some pasta in, into you, like, you know, some good solid carbs. If you're not doing that much, for me personally, like rice and potatoes will kind of cut it, like, you know, you've got to be eating something as you're just going to. You're going to mess up big time, you know. <clears throat> I'm just going to call this pasta mukbang. We're just chilling out. There's fireworks going off everywhere. I mean, fireworks are fun and stuff. Those big displays and things. But when you think about it, what a waste of money going up in the sky and just blowing up, eh? What a waste of money. It was like so cheap, like 59p for like 500 grams, whatever it is, pack of pasta, sauce, like pasta and sauce is so cheap. I mean, potatoes and rice are cheap, you know. It's like, what else are you going to eat? What else are you going to eat if you're going to go and do like cycling or run or something? 
you know, it's so cheap, isn't it, to fuel yourself? Granted, like, a few energy gels or some flashy bullshit energy drink on the side or something, whatever you're into. But it's so cheap, isn't it, to fuel yourself? Go out, cycle, slam some pasta, cheeseless pizza or something, make your own, whatever, order one, whatever. So easy. I'm going to down this pasta... Then we're going to have, I'm going to have some potato waffles in some bread rolls. We're going to eat that. A little bit of cheeky cheeky fats. A bit of Tommy K on there. Tomato ketchup for all you people that don't know what Tommy K means. And then I might have a cup of tea later on. Because I'm a Brit. All these Aussie people, man. Come over and cycle with us Brits or kick your asses. Do it in right, I'll kick your ass. I'm not even doing anything, man. Not even eating as clean as I could, you know? Not even training, man. Don't even lift weights or nothing. You got all these other people who like do all this stuff. And they're not all that great, are they? I just know how to push cranks around, you know? Always have done, right? Always used to gate well on the BMX. Always had an evil gate. Again, never used to do anything. Oh, you're picking yourself up, aren't you, peddling rule? No, man. Just saying how it is. <clears throat> Just go out and ride bikes. Nothing special. I tell you, all you people out there who are not, who are not vegan or you're not really checking in on what, what you're actually eating, but you're competing. You could be like, it's the sauce, man. You could be like so much better. Really, you really need to check in with that. <coughs> Watch what you're eating. This ride I done today, see? No meat, no dairy, no eggs. Vegan, right? Look it up on Google. Look up what vegan means, right? Proving them wrong. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give my other video a thumbs up if you like that. That's strange. Look at that pasta there. For some reason, that looks like a leaf. It's like a leaf that I've seen today on the floor. Because I've seen that leaf and it looked just like that clump of pasta on that fork. See you later, people. Real videos for vegan people. Real videos for people that are interested in what I'm doing. Real videos for people that don't want to see bullshit. Real videos for people that want to try and like develop and create change in the world, you know, to try and get people who have an inner an inner desire or passion to perhaps do something. But they might have a may have a low self esteem and think they can't. But you can. A bike. I'm riding a bike can open up so many doors to people. What you never thought was possible. It's a strange thing, man. It really is. Once you start tapping into health and fitness, and getting yourself fit and feeling good, and happy and healthy and energized, and start opening up your eyes to what's possible. What is possible, you know? See you later.